Hello students, welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve few IIT JAM biotechnology questions which appeared in 2019 examination. So let us begin with our first question. So our first question here is about dimensions. So let us check, we need to find the dimension of coefficient of viscosity. So first we need to find the value or uh, find the formula of viscosity. After that we can find the dimensions. So we know viscosity the general formula of viscosity can be written as stress which is divided by velocity shear rate. So this is the general formula velocity. Now if we uh, represent it in terms of like symbols so stress we can write as force by area and velocity shear rate we can write as velocity divided by L. So this is the symbol of uh, stress and velocity shear rate. Now we can write the dimensions of each one of them. First let us take force which is equal to mass into acceleration. Force we know mass into acceleration and we know the dimensions of mass into acceleration. Mass dimension is simply m whereas acceleration dimension is L into t to the power minus 2. And after that we have area which is L square. The dimension of area is L square we all know that. Then we have velocity. Now velocity can be written as distance by time. So this we will write as distance by time. Now we know the dimensions of distance and time. dimensions of distance will be L and time is T. So this is L T to the power minus 1. So we know all the dimensions of all of these symbols. So now let us find the dimension of viscosity. So F you can see here we have the dimension of F is M into L T to the power minus 2. So we will write it as M L T to the power minus 2 which is divided by area and area we have found L square. So this will be L square whole divided by we have velocity which is L T to the power minus 1. So this is L T to the power minus 1 divided by L. Now solving and simplifying this we will get m t to the power minus 1 l t uh, l to the power minus 1. Now let us check our options and as you can see in option a we have m l uh, m to the power minus 1 and t to the power minus 1. So option a is our correct answer. Now let us move on to our next question which is question number 2. So question 2 says function fx is equal to x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4. So here as you can see we have a function of x and we have been given the function and we have let alpha is equal to f3 by 2, beta is equal to f5 uh, by 2 and gamma equal to f7 by 2. So here we have three values where we have been given the values of x and the function of x is alpha, beta and gamma. Now we need to find uh, which of these options are correct whether uh, one option or more than one option can be correct because here we can see is and are is or are which implies that either one option is correct or more than one options can be correct and here as you can see we need to find we need to determine whether these uh, functions have equal or same sign or not so let us find the signs of each one of them so here you can see we have fx which is equal to x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and x minus 4. So for alpha, here we can see alpha is equal to f of 3 by 2. So here in this equation, in this fx function, we will put 3 by 2 in place of x. We will get 3 by 2 minus 1. Then we have 3 by 2 minus 2. Then we have 3 by 2 minus 3. And last 3 by 2 minus 4. We need not solve this because we do not need the value of alpha, beta or gamma. Just we need to find the signs. So here we can directly find the sign. You can see here 3 by 2 minus 1 will give us a positive value. And 3 by 2 minus 2 will give us a negative value because 3 by 2 is less than 2. And similarly 3 by 2 minus 3 will give a negative value. And 3 by 2 minus 4 will also give a negative value. So here you can see we have positive, negative which gives negative. Then again we have negative negative which is positive which is negative. So you can see uh, alpha gives negative. Now let us find the value of uh, find the sign of beta which is f5 by 2. So here we have 5 by 2 minus 1, 5 by 2 minus 2, then we have 5 by 2 minus 3 
and we have 5 by 2 minus 4. So 5 by 2 minus 1 will obviously give us a positive value. Now 5 by 2 minus 2 will also give us a positive value. Then we have 5 by 2 minus 3. Now this time we have a negative value and 5 by 2 minus 4 will also give us a negative value. So you can see positive positive will give positive and negative negative will give negative. So oh no, sorry negative negative will also give us positive. So here again positive positive will give us a positive sign. So till now we have alpha is negative beta is positive. Now let's check for gamma. Here we have gamma is equal to f7 by 2 which is equal to 7 by 2 minus 1, 7 by 2 minus 2, 7 by 2 minus 3 and 7 by 2 minus 4. So 7 by 2 minus 1 will give us a positive value. 7 by 2 minus 2 will also give us a positive. Then 7 by 2 minus 3 will also give us a positive. But 7 by 2 minus 4 will give us a negative value. Here you can see positive, positive will positive. Positive, negative will give negative. And positive, negative will give us negative value. Now let us check the options. So first option is alpha and beta have the same sign. Here we can see alpha has a negative sign and beta has a positive sign. So option A is not correct. Now let us check option B which says beta and gamma have same sign. Here we can see beta is positive whereas gamma is negative. So option B is also not correct. Then we have beta and gamma have the same signs. So here as you can see option B and C are same. So there is a mistake there should be alpha and beta. Here let us take option C to be alpha and beta have the same sign. And we can check alpha is negative whereas beta is or uh, gamma is also negative. No, but we also have alpha and beta. So we will assume this to be alpha and gamma. Let option C be alpha and gamma. Now we can see alpha is negative whereas gamma is also negative. So option C comes out to be a correct option. So till now option C is the only correct option. Now let's check for option D which says alpha, beta and beta, gamma have same sign. So first find the signs of alpha and beta. Alpha, beta will give us alpha is negative and beta is positive which gives negative sign whereas beta gamma here we have beta is positive and gamma is negative which gives negative sign so you can see we have alpha beta and beta gamma both have negative sign therefore option d is also a correct option so out of option a b c and d we find that option c and d are correct options where option c should be alpha and gamma at the same sign now let's move on to the third question. So here we have a integration problem. You can see the value of integration 0 to pi by 2 x sin x dx is. So here we will put integration by parts. So let us start. This will be pi by 2 x sin x dx. So we know the general form of integration by parts which is i late. Here you can see a algebra. And here you can see t is trigonometry. So you can see a comes before t. Therefore, we will take x as our first term and sin x as our second term. So by parts, we use x integration 0 to pi by 2. We will not put limits now. We will just integrate. Here we will have sin x dx minus integration. Now differentiation of the first term and integration of the second term and hold dx. So we know the integration of sin x is minus cos x and now we will put the limit which is 0 to pi by 2 minus integration dx differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so we will ignore it and integration of sin x is minus cos x dx so here we will have minus x cos x and the limits are 0 to pi by 2 minus minus again this minus comes out here and this becomes this minus will come out here and this will become positive and we have integration cos x dx so this will be here we will have minus pi by 2 in place of x we will put pi by 2 and so cos x will be 1 so this will minus no cos x will be 0 so into 0 minus and we will put 0 in place of x which will be at 0 and cos 0 is 1 
so this will be like this plus here we will have x uh, sin x uh, integ integration of cos x is sin x and the limits are 0 to pi by 2 so from this bracket we get 0 whereas sin pi by 2 is 1 minus sin 0 is 0 so this will come out to be 0 so the answer to this question will be 1 now let's move on to our fourth question so our fourth question is here so here we can see we have been given two uh, vectors which is a and b so let us write here a which is equal to 4 i hat minus 2 j hat minus 6 k hat oh this is plus 6 k hat and this is b which is equal to 7 i hat plus j hat minus 12 k hat so first of all we need to find a cross b and we need to represent it in this form which is alpha i hat plus beta j hat minus gamma k hat then we need to find the values of alpha beta gamma and we need to sum it and we will get our answer so for cross product here we will write alpha cross uh, sorry a cross b which will be here i j k so we know the cross product here we will take the coefficients of i and here we will take j which is minus 2 and 1 here we will take k which is 6 and minus 12 now for this we will find for i we will take minus 12 into minus 2 is 24 6 into 1 is 6 then we have minus j here we will have minus 12 into 4 is minus 48 minus 7 into 6 is 42 plus k here we will have 4 into 1 is 4 minus 7 into minus 2 is minus 14 so this will become plus 14 so solving this we will get 18 i hat plus 90 j hat plus 18 k hat now this we have been given in alpha i1 plus beta j1 minus gamma k1 so we compare both the equations here we have alpha i sorry this will be alpha i1 here we have alpha i hat minus plus beta j hat minus gamma k hat and the equation is 18 i hat plus 19 j hat plus 18 k hat so from this we can find the values of alpha beta and gamma where alpha is equal to 18 beta is equal to so this is yeah 90 and gamma is equal to minus 80 so here we need to find alpha plus beta plus gamma so alpha plus beta plus gamma will give us 18 plus 90 minus 18 which is equal to 90 so our answer to this question will be 90 so 90 is our correct answer so we have solved few questions of iit biotechnology uh, 2019 question paper so i would like to end this video here thanks